Hello, my fellow art lovers, and welcome to KJ Comic Art. KJ here, bringing you a short tutorial on sketching comic, 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 comic page roughs. Since the roughs are quite simple and only slightly more difficult than the thumbnailing process, I won't need to go into too much detail. The reason you're only seeing a small fraction of my progress is because I had to create these pages for my university deadline and was given permission by my tutor to record them so I could get an extra day of work under my belt around YouTube. I didn't want to drop you into another hiatus so soon after the last one because I know that isn't fair and I know it isn't making it use any happier and I really love drawing so why would I want to take one anyway? Anyway, when creating the roughs of a comic page it really helps to have all the thumbnails and even the script open so you can understand what's going on in each panel and plan your speech bubbles and other important text based actions accordingly. Once you've got all that, you can start by making a basic doodle of what you want to happen on the page, slightly more detailed than the thumbnail itself. This shouldn't take too long, but remember to look it over and ensure the angles, dialogue, and the characters themselves are placed properly, or it'll be a bit difficult to alter later. Once you've finished that, you start adding the structure of the story together. The base of the background, the character skeletons, and even the speech bubbles, roughly drawing at this stage, obviously. This is around the time you want to tweak your pauses and angles more thoroughly, ensuring the proportions, scale and effects of the panel panels fit the story you're trying to depict. If it doesn't look realistic to some extent, even in a cartoony style, your readers will notice and it could impact the view of your work. That's not to say you shouldn't overly worry about what others think. Just ensure you're happy with your work. If you think something needs tweaking, tweak it. The final process of the roughs is to finalise all the base details you want to portray, such as the thickness of the arms, legs, torso, the size of the heads, and the perspective and scale of the inanimate and even animate objects surrounding the characters. It's a lot for the base part of a sketch, but it really makes your job easier when, when you move on to the more detailed sketching process. Anyway, that's it from me, I'm afraid. Hopefully these tips have helped you a little, and if you end up using them in a drawing or comic of your own, send me a link to it. I'd love to see how you incorporated my advice into your work. I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have lost my... Hang on, my script disappeared. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week for another one. Bye.